Today, what we're going to be doing is creating and automating topical maps using GPT 4.0. And I'm going to build a custom made tool using GPT 4.0 to actually automate these topical maps. And obviously, topical maps are one of the best ways to build authority to your website. So, what I'm going to do from here is we're going to go to Playground OpenAI and I'm going to show you exactly how I build it step by step to give you an idea of what you need to do and how to create your own tools with AI. And so, if you haven't been here before, you can go to playground.openai.com. And then from here, you would go to playground and then assistance, and we can create the topical map assistant directly inside here. Now, I actually created multiple videos. You can check them out on YouTube on how to create topical maps right here. But the one thing we haven't really looked at is ways to automate that. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. But first of all, we're going to be using some of the methods from the SAP that previously created. So for example, we can take the topical map SAP right here. And then we can plug that directly into ChatGPT. So let's do that. First, so now that I've given the assistant a name, which is Topical Map Assistant, then what we're going to do is say, right, here's what you need to do. Ask the user what keyword, niche, and language they want to use. So for example, like that. Then I'm going to take this prompt right here. Give me 30 semantically relevant, but you need topics under the niche in the right language and easy to read table. Each topic must be relevant, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to copy that and paste that into the assistant instructions, right? So basically here's what it's going to do. It's going to ask the user what niche and language they want to use. Then from there, it's going to do the 30 semantically but relevant topics. Then we're going to take part two of the prompt, as you can see, and we'll say, then do this. And we'll say once confirmed with the user do this. So go for each topic, give me 30 variations for each topic that address a different search intent, include keywords plus English translation, include as a table, reduce it all to like three to five words, separate the table like this, and then we'll say once done for topic one, do it for topic two, then three, etc. and keep generating the topic tables for the user until you've done all 30. Now, I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna test that first. And then obviously, when you're building these sort of tools, you wanna go back and forth with ChatGPT quite a lot. But the cool thing is, you've got the assistant instructions right here, then you've got the thread, and you can just test it and see, right, is it good? Do I need to tweak it? How can I improve it, etc. It's only really when you start testing it that you get a feel for whether this is complete trash or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit run like so over here and it said great let's get started could you please provide me with the niche and language you want to use for generating the topics and variations so i'm going to put ice cream english now you can see in the output and this is why i want to show you step by step how i create the tool not just the finished product but you can see right here that the table itself has not come out very nicely at all so we're just going to fix that first of all but the good thing is that it's actually going off doing the semantically but relevant topics as you can see and then it's generating topic one topic two etc and it's basically automating the whole topical map for us now from what i'm seeing so far it's not like when i do it in markdown it looks trash when i do it in markup when i do it in markup it also looks trash and when i ask it to format the table nicely it also looks trash all right so so here's Here's what I did to fix it, as you can see. Just after a quick Google, you can see that there's some good help inside the OpenAI forum. So you can see, so this solution right here works. You can basically ask for a table with Markdown and then display that for copy paste, right? So what I've done here is I've said, give me the table in Markdown and display that for copy and paste. Now, what I'm actually gonna do from here is cancel that before it does a whole topical map is edit the instructions. And I'll give you all the instructions at the end of this video in case you want to create your own. But basically we're going to go, then do this, give me the table in Markdown and display that for copy and paste. And we'll do that for the second prompt as well. So I've plugged it in right there. All right, and we'll plug it in there, okay? So now I'm going to clean the log. We've updated the assistant and its instructions right here. And we're going to say to the OpenAI assistant, do your magic. And hopefully it doesn't start doing magic tricks straight off the bat. Then we'll go again, ice cream plus English. Still doesn't give me what I need, so I'm just going to say, give me the table and mark down and display that for copy and paste. Now it's done it a lot nicer, as you can see, so you've got, just to clarify, right? 
you've got the keywords for each category, right? So for example, ice cream flavors, ice cream recipes, homemade ice cream, vegan ice cream, ice cream storage, etc. Then it will say, next, we'll create the variations for each topic. I'll start with the first topic, which is this one. And hopefully it should go through the whole thing. So I'm going to say, okay, go ahead. And there we go, right? So we've got the main category, which is basically the cluster. And then you've got the topic ideas for the whole cluster, right? And you've got 30. And then it will say, right, now let's proceed with the next topic, ice cream recipes, which is this one over here, as you can see, ice cream recipes. That is number two in the list. And it should just proceed through the whole thing. Now, I prefer this method because if it just blasted out the whole topical map in 30 different categories in one go, then if it was wrong, you couldn't really give it any feedback along the way. You wouldn't have time to fix it in between. And it could just, just go off on a crazy tangent, right? So you can see what it's doing is just proceeding with each topic. Now, what we can also do, because this is in copy-based format, is we can click the copy in the top right over here. And this is useful for you or your team. And then you can just generate the whole topical map step by step really easily. You can also, inside the instructions, remove the English translation section if you think it's irrelevant. If you don't do any foreign SEO, then you don't need that column at all. You can just focus on the topic, the number, and the variations. And so from here, what I would do normally is set this up as a category and then create pages for each one of these. Now, you still need a bit of common sense, right? Obviously, some of this is going to be trash. Some of it's not going to be useful at all. Some of it's going to be overlapping in search intent. So I wouldn't just go off and create 900 pages. I would manually check through the topical map, make sure it makes sense, and then generate everything else from there. But this is probably the easiest way to create topical authority. Now, what I would also recommend is that you focus on one cluster, and then you move on to the next one, the next one, when it comes to creating content. Additionally, on top of that, you can look through all the topics and go, right, actually, I'm an ice cream maker review website. That's where I'm going to make most of my money. So I'm going to focus on that first, and then I'll work my way through the categories, right? So I'd pick the highest leverage one first, the one that's going to make you the most money, is the most relevant to your business, and then work your way through this. Now, if you want to see an example of a website that's performing really well with top core authority, you can check out cakesbymk.com right here. They're getting a million traffic, domain power of 18. And you can see they've basically focused on the topic of cakes in English. And every single one of the keywords that they're ranking for is focused and laser focused on that topic of cakes, right? And that's how they've achieved topical authority and ranked so well, even though their domain power and the backlinks they've built to the site is kind of mediocre, right? That's not a super high domain power website. So this process, it works really well. This is how you can automate it using chat GPT 4.0. I think GPT 4.0 is better simply because it seems to be smarter. It's better simply because it's cheaper to use. Is faster. It's easy to create assistance like this inside OpenAI. As you can see, I created this literally in the space of about 10 minutes. And you can just automate the whole topical map in literally a few minutes for whatever personalized to your business. So what I'm going to do is if you want to get access to this process, I'll actually put it inside my free course links inside the comments in the description. And I'll plug it into the topical map section right here. By the way, this document right here, you get like 200 chat GPT prompts. It's pretty insane. Comes with multiple ways to create topical maps and automate them, as you can see right here. And inside the topical maps assistant instructions section, we'll plug in the instructions right there if you want to copy and paste them and create your own topical maps automator. So thanks so much for watching. That is how I automate topical maps in literally a space of what? A few minutes. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session and basically custom tailor an SEO game plan to your website, I would highly recommend booking that in because things are changing in SEO right now. The world is evolving. Things are getting crazy. And if you're not, I would say for a lot of website owners, if they don't adapt right now, they're going to get left behind. So if you want to get this free SEO strategy session with an SEO domination plan, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn how to quickly outrank your competitors with link building and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website feel free to book that in and if you haven't already i would definitely recommend checking out the seo boardroom you can see we're getting tons of great reviews right here there's a lot of stuff that people are missing out by not being in there for example like actionable tactics for rankings that are working right now it's kind of like an exclusive club i'm only sharing my best stuff inside there and the seo elite circle so if you want to get access to that there's only six spots remaining at the current price after that prices go up you'll miss out
if you sign up now, you lock in a discounted price. And you can see the reviews are popping off in there. The value in there is crazy. So you can join via the SEO boardroom. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.